What's going on guys? Oddman105, aka the odd one here. And I know you guys have seen me do a playthrough of the Kyle Perico Heist finale before, but this one you have to see to believe. This has to be the absolute highest possible solo player payout, and I'm talking the highest payout for a solo player in Kyle Perico without glitching through walls to steal gold, okay? I'm talking two stacks of cocaine here. In addition to that, we've got the Panther statue as the primary loot. So this is well over $2.1 million in payout. Now, I also set a new personal best record for completing the Kyle Perico heist in 10 minutes and 40 seconds, and I'm absolutely stoked about that. But before we begin, whether you're an OG to my channel or you're new here, thank all of you for stopping by and for your support. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so, Consider subscribing to become part of the Odd Ones and click the bell icon for future notifications. Leave a couple of likes while you're here, and hey, also while you're here, check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. Okay, so as you can see, we're at the airfield. We're using the long fin approach, or as I like to call it, the long way around approach. You guys will understand why as soon as we hit the compound. But everything that we need to fill out our loot bag and get max payout is in this first warehouse right in front of us. That's all we have to do. So let's make a beeline for it. Now we're going to murk out this one guard here. Okay, he's dead and he's the only guard that we have to deal with here at the airfield. Our two stacks of cocaine are on the first floor right there. This is super simple, super easy. So let's get in here and get this. Like I said, guys, the highest possible solo player payout without glitching through walls to steal gold. We've got two stacks of the white stuff, so we're going to snatch this. Now, I do believe that I could have completed this heist sooner uh, if my character wasn't T-posing at certain points, but uh, nevertheless, I think 10 minutes and 40 seconds is quite the personal record for me. All right, so now we have a full loot bag. Let's get out of here. Head back to the boat. And of course, it's raining. It's always raining in both Los Santos and Cayo Perico. So go figure. So as you can see, my boat drifted away back there, which makes no sense because I parked it right at the rock. Yeah, and I could have completed this uh, probably at 10 minutes and 30 seconds if it weren't for this. Now, I know that there are speedrunners that can finish Kyle Perico in like four minutes, but I'm not one of them. This is a personal best time for me at 10 minutes and 40 seconds. So, I, I don't care about the speedrunners, they can play the game however they want. This is how I run the Kyle Perico Heist. Now, you guys will notice that once we reach the compound, uh, we're going to do what I call the long way around. And that's basically running around the interior perimeter of the uh, compound without attracting too much attention. That's the best way to kill the fewest guards and get to the primary loot as quickly as possible. And it's probably the, one of the easiest ways for players like myself who aren't very good at running heists like this. So. Okay, time to take that dive. Now, this is something that Rockstar needs to fix in my opinion. You guys will see here, as soon as I put my rebreather on, yeah, that flare, <laughs> that's not supposed to be lit underwater, obviously. That's a resource that was left over from the uh, Operation ULP finale mission. And Rockstar forgot to remove it. And somehow it made its way to uh, Cayo Perico, so go figure. Thanks, Rockstar. Fix your game. And this is real simple. Just 
burn through the grate. Yeah, there's that flare, which defies all physics because it's lit underwater. Okay, now here's another weird cutscene. For some reason, my character takes off his rebreather, which at that point, he should have drowned, but go figure. Okay, so now we begin what I call the long way around. We're gonna run the perimeter on the interior of the compound. We'll murk out this guy, he's dead. Okay, there's a guard jumping over the fence here. Okay, he's dead. And again, the idea is minimal contact with the guards. I know there are guys that can run in here and just uh, massacre everyone quickly, but that's not how I play Kyle Perico. This is a guaranteed win uh, with this method. So right here, it's a really easy double tap. Boop, boop, they're dead. Be careful, because there is a camera right there. Okay, you've got the guard in the front next to El Rubio's car, so we'll murk him out. He's dead. Really easy. So, so far we've taken out five guards. Okay, you want to run over. Don't worry about Big Boy, the uh, juggernaut. He's on the other side of the uh, compound. Timing is everything with this, so we'll walk up and punch this guy in the back of the face. He's dead. We have the gate keys. So that makes this a ton easier. We'll kill this guy. So that's seven guards so far. This next guard on the stairs, you want to take him out immediately. Merc that dude out immediately, because if you don't, depending on the timing of your playthrough, that juggernaut will be right near the stairway and will see you kill him, so you need to be careful. Okay, now we're in El Rubio's office. Let's take the money, the gun, and everything else in his safe. Okay, you can see a big boy on the right there. He's approaching, so we're going to go this way, take a left. Okay, so we're inside. This is a really easy puzzle, and this is why it's important if, that if you can find the gate keys, get those because you'll only have to clone one set of fingerprints. And this is super easy, just count up from one to eight and match the fingerprints and done. And in my opinion, the long fin approach is probably the single best approach for solo players. I believe the Kosatka approach is also good for solo players, but for me, the long fin approach has always worked the best. So there's our panther statue, and yes, I do have this glitch, so I'm keeping it. Okay, and as far as using the plasma cutter, basically you want to Heat it up until it gets to just to, to the point where it's about to overheat and release and do that four times and it'll uh, cut the glass for you. Really simple, really easy. So look at that take. Look at that take. $2,400,000, okay? By the time everyone else gets paid, that is about 2.1 mil. That is the highest possible payout for a solo player without cheating, mind you. Okay, so get ready for the single dumbest cutscene in GTA 5 Online history. So here I am trying to push the door open. Oh my god, I can't get out. What am I going to do? So I'll just kick the door. Never mind that there's a big friggin' green button right there that says exit. <laughs> Good job, Rockstar. 
Okay, so we're gonna merc out this guard and steal his dirt bike. Okay, always remember that the single most dangerous thing on Cayo Perico aren't the guards with the guns, it's the stupid trees. I don't think I crashed <laughs> on this run to the edge of the island. I think I'm okay. Now here, when you jump off the cliff, be careful because you can take a hit with your uh, your secondary loot. Uh, when you jump off with the dirt bike, you want to tip the front of the motorcycle up just a little bit so that you don't take a penalty uh, when you hit the water because for some reason, Rockstar thinks it's a good idea for you to lose money whenever you slam into the water. So here, just keep swimming. Don't worry about El Rubio. Swim toward the whale skeleton right here. And that's it. This thing is a wrap. So as you guys will see here in a minute, $2.1 million in 10 minutes and 40 seconds. The absolute fastest that I've ever completed Cayo Perico and the highest possible solo payout. So we'll get through the cutscene here. There it is, mission passed. Look at this take. Look at that, 2.1 mil. This is before the Elite Challenge bonus. Completed 10 minutes, 40 seconds. That's unbelievable, for me it is anyway. We just got an extra 50K for the Elite Challenge bonus, so I'll take that almost $2.2 million the highest possible solo payout in the Kyle Perico heist finale for a solo player without cheating. All right, so we're chilling with Mini Madrazo. And of course, the running joke is that by now there should be a mountain of lime peels behind his balcony here <laughs> because of the number of times that El Rubio has been robbed. So that's unbelievable. Final take, 2.18 mil. That is insanely good money. And you guys out there, if you haven't done it by now, you still have a couple of hours before the, the upcoming event week. Lock in the Kyle Perico Heist primary loot. Lock in that Panther statue while you can. Okay? Okay, and as you guys can see, we're back on my submarine. And as you'll also see here in a minute, we've got our cash, our full take, 2.13 mil, plus the uh, bonus. As you guys will see here right now, I've got the Panther statue locked in as my my primary vault loot. Zero prep missions. Let's zoom in. There it is. Panther statue. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. And guys, that's pretty much it. This video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka the Odd One, and I want to thank you guys for watching this. If you found this informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button. Hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.